Congrats back. Chris Kuiper joining us now. Chris, it's really hot. It is really hot. The Chico Heat have a baseball game tonight at Nelson oh. City. Oh, boy. Yeah. That's why they call them the Chico Heat. Ah, uh, yes. Got a baseball game, and it's going to be toasty hot out there. 104, the high temperature for the day today in Chico and in Corning, and 103 this afternoon in Oroville, 109 today in Redding. That's a hot afternoon. That is 48 degrees hotter than it was on the coastline today. 61 was the high temperature in Eureka. Oh, boy, you want to cool down. Head to the coast. The 109 in Reading, not a record. Record for today in Reading is 113, and that's going to stand for another year. 99 in Bernie today, also not a record. Uh, 97 in Mount Shasta City. That was the closest to a record I could find. That was one degree shy of a record. Otherwise, these are just hot temperatures that we have here. This is climatologically our hottest week of the year. So, not too surprising. We're seeing temperatures broiling like this in the valley. Uh, today's triple digit temperatures that we had in both Chico and Redding, uh, well, just another day in the old book there. So, now we've had 12 days so far this year of triple digit high temperatures in Chico. We've had 18 days of triple digit high temperatures in Chico. And now we're entering the period where the average high temperature in Redding is right around 100. So, yeah, we're going to add more on top of uh, those 18 that are in Redding for sure. In fact, we'll do it as quickly as tomorrow. 81 at 8 o'clock in the morning, 98 at noontime. My goodness, 106 through most of the valley at 5 o'clock, although Redding and Anderson naturally will be a bunch hotter than that. So the heat goes on. Scorching hot tomorrow. Thursday looks pretty hot as well. Friday's going to be a little different. Monsoon moisture comes surging on in. That'll turn our, our skies at least partly cloudy, and that alone will knock our temperatures down. It's still going to be hot. We'll say less hot on Friday thanks to the cloud cover. And a few thunderstorms are possible in the mountains. Doesn't look like a whole lot, but a little bit. Lots of low clouds and fog on the coastline burning off this afternoon. That's what kept Eureka to only 61 for their afternoon high temperature. Away from the coast, nothing but sunshine, and we'll see all that happen again tomorrow. 104 in Weaverville and Hayfork, 103 in Wairika, flirting with triple digits in Mount Shasta City tomorrow. We'll get in the triple digits in Bernie. I believe that's the first time this year. 99 in Quincy and in Susanville tomorrow, and 98 in Alturas. It's hot all over the North State. 102 in Paradise tomorrow. That's a hot one on the ridge. And almost in the triple digits in Megalia and at Forest Trench. Hope the air conditioner is working. In the north end of the valley, clear skies tonight. Not very cool out there. Low temperatures eventually in the 70s. Tomorrow, look for afternoon highs up to 112 in Reading. That also won't be a record. The record for tomorrow is 114. It's just a hot time of the year for us in the North State. Low temperatures in the Mid Valley in the 70s tonight. Tomorrow, 106, 107 by the end of the afternoon. Your Storm Tracker 7 day forecast with the weekend is always in view. 103 again on Thursday. 90s on Friday as the skies turn partly cloudy. And the weekend also in the 90s, which at this point seems like a huge win compared to how hot it's been. 112 in Reading tomorrow. That's the peak of the heat, as it'll be less hot after that. That's something to look forward to. Yeah, it's, it's a small victory. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Chris. Still ahead on Action.